So I hope everybody had an amazing Thanksgiving. Be, um, this is part of Thanksgiving dinner, um, but I will be posting this after Thanksgiving. So hope everyone had a nice holiday. Um, today I am making pineapple stuffing. So these are the five ingredients I'm going to be using. It normally would be six, but the salt, I didn't realize I was supposed to have unsalted butter. This is regular butter. And so I don't need the extra salt. So it's just one stick of butter, which is half a cup, four large eggs. I think it said a half a cup of sugar, but I'll let you know once I put it in. A 20 ounce can, 20 ounce, a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple and you're not gonna drain it. And I think it was five pieces of white bread and then a bowl to mix it all in and a baking pan. So you're gonna want to melt your butter uh, or soften your butter, not melt it. I accidentally kind of put it in too long and melted it a bit, but oh well. So this is going to go into the bowl. Then you're gonna pour in a half a cup of sugar. And then you're going to take a mixer and you're going to mix it together. Okay, so I have my mixer. You're gonna mix it on high for about five minutes until it's all fluffy. Oh. Why isn't it turning on? Hold on, technical difficulties. Okay, so now we're adding the eggs one at a time and whip them in until each one is fully whipped before adding the next one. So there's four of them. Four eggs are blended in and it should look something like that, hopefully. So now it says to scrape the sides of the bowl with a spatula and then fold in the pineapple. So I'm gonna do that. So just dump the whole thing, juices and all into your bowl. I assume folding is just folding. But there's actually a fold. It says fold blend button on my mixer. So I might do that when I put the bread in. But for now, I'm just folding with the spatula. So now you take your five pieces of bread and you're going to cut them or tear them into one inch pieces and then just add that into the mixture. Now I am sorry that I'm doing this one handed. I forgot my tripod, my phone stand at home and my husband's not bringing it till later. So I'm at my mom, so I'm going to have to make do with just my hand. So you're just going to add that in and I'm not going to use my mixer. Like I said, I was going to, I'm just going to use the spatula and I should have used a bigger bowl. I didn't realize how much this was actually going to make, but yeah, just going to, it says fold. So I'm assuming just take the outside and fold it in. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna show you the next step. Now here is what my mixture looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna use this baking dish. Hopefully it's big enough. Um, and you want to spray it first. I used this butter flavored spray and then I'm just going to put the mixture into the pan. And it fit perfectly. Look at that. It smells delicious already. 
believe it or not. Okay, so my oven is set at 350 degrees. I have it put in the oven and it's going to bake for an hour. And here is what it looks like fresh out of the oven. It smells delicious. I can't wait to eat it. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. Um, actually, I have to let it sit while I cook the turkey and then I'm going to put it in the oven for like a couple minutes just to warm it back up and then I will serve it. And now it's ready to eat. Can I be in the video? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. And I hope you had a very happy Thanksgiving. Bye.